Dataverse's automation services allow you to save time by creating schedules to enable the automatic execution of your data flows at specified times and intervals using our scheduler. So let's firstly talk about schedule and runs. A schedule is a customizable set of rules that you create to govern the timing and conditions under which a given data flow is automatically run. A run is a single execution of a data flow, which can be initiated manually or automatically by using a schedule. All schedules and completed runs are listed in the details panel. To create a schedule for a data flow, from the directory, select the data flow for which you want to create a schedule, then from the details panel, click Create New Schedule. The Schedule a Data Flow dialog opens. Enter a name for your schedule, Optionally, enter a description for your schedule. When you have created your schedule, the description will be visible from the details panel. Select yes to enable your data flow immediately or select no if you want to enable your schedule later. Next, I'll click on the schedule tab and specify the interval between runs. Clicking on the interval drop down menu, I have these options, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, and minutes. Depending on which interval you select, the options below will change. I will select daily and to start running from today. You can see a list of the next scheduled runs at the bottom of the dialog to help you to confirm if the specified schedule settings are correct. In the Run Properties tab, you will find default run properties and any custom run properties that you have previously created in the designer. You can define a value for the run properties here to be used in the schedule. Default run properties can be overridden if required. Enter any required run property values and when you have finished, click confirm. The run schedule is created and shown in the document list in the middle of the directory screen. Multiple schedules can be created for one data flow. I'm going to create another schedule, but this time with a different interval. I will enter a name for the new schedule Select weekly from the interval drop-down. Select 27th of February as a start date and 9 a.m. as a start time. Then press confirm. In the directory, all schedules are listed in the document list under my documents. Any runs associated with the selected data flow are listed in the details panel. I will take you through how to edit your schedule disable and enable schedules, and also how to delete schedules and runs. There are two ways you can edit a schedule. The first way is to select the schedule from the directory, then press the edit button. The second way is to select the data flow rather than the schedule. This method is useful if you have multiple schedules associated with a single data flow and want to select one to edit. You have the ability to quickly and easily disable or enable your schedules. To disable a schedule, select the schedule that you want to disable. Click the blue menu in the top right hand corner and select Disable. Disabled schedules are easy to identify as they are greyed out in the document list and have a disabled badge on the right hand side. To enable a schedule, select the schedule that you want to enable, then select Enable from the menu in the top right hand corner. Another way to disable and enable schedules is to click on the data flow and then disable or enable the schedules from there. You can delete schedules and its associated runs from the directory. To delete a schedule and all associated runs, from the document list, select the schedule that you want to delete, click the menu button in the top right hand corner and select delete. To delete a run, select the schedule that contains the run that you want to delete. Click the menu button to the right hand side of that run and select delete. All runs are based on the most recent version of the corresponding data flow. From the directory, you can view a list of completed runs for a selected schedule. You can then select a specific run to view as a read only copy. All completed runs are shown in the details panel with the most recently generated run listed first. Click Refresh to view the current status of scheduled runs. The status icon of the runs will be one of the following at any one time. Green tick, which indicates that the run completed successfully. Red cross indicates that an error caused the run to fail. You can click on the menu button to the right of the run, then select View Run to investigate the error. 
A black circle indicates that the run is still in progress. You cannot open a run that is still in progress. And yellow exclamation mark indicates that the run could not start because the previous run is still in progress. For example, if you have configured a schedule to execute your data flow every minute, but one complete run of your data flow takes two minutes, then you would see this status every other minute. To view a read-only copy of the run, select the schedule for which you want to view the completed runs and then click on the run name. The data flow opens in the run viewer. When viewing a read-only copy of the run, you can complete the following actions. Inspect data in the data viewer, including the ability to apply filters and sort the data. Export data from the data viewer. Trace fields. View any errors in the error panel and review properties in the Properties panel. To save system resources, you can configure Dataverse to automatically purge runs generated by schedules. Automatic run purging is useful if you have a high volume of regular runs and only need to see the most recent. From the Collections panel on the left, click System Settings. A scheduling menu will appear on the right-hand side. Specify how often you want to remove scheduled runs from Dataverse by selecting the relevant checkboxes and entering the required number of runs and or days. Just to note, you can select a combination of the two options. Once you have made your changes, click Apply Changes. The cleanup settings apply to all runs generated by schedules. The settings will take effect at the next scheduled run. The scheduler is available on the Desktop Professional and Power Editions as an add-on option as well as being included as part of the Server Edition. Please note the scheduler on the Desktop Editions will only operate when the Dataverse user is logged into the machine. For further information, please visit our Features page. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to download a copy of Dataverse, join our online community or watch more videos like this one, please follow the links below.